What's going on people? Welcome to a new video on the channel. Welcome to some Horizon 5 and in today's video I'm gonna try to do something that one of you guys have actually suggested in one of the previous videos that I should try. So obviously with this whole season we get a couple of things happening. If I go into the series here you can see that we actually get uh, a reward I guess. We got the Secret Santa rewards. So we get a holiday tree outfit and we also get a new to Forza car. I don't know what car that actually is pretty sure it's the Lamborghini Sion. I'm not entirely sure though, but we'll see. It doesn't actually look like, it looks like a convertible, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a Ferrari convertible? I honestly don't know what it is. I'm just assuming it's the Sion because that's the car that they've added into the game, but they actually haven't shown how to get it at all. In any of these races, you just, it, it's just not here. Like, you just don't get it for anything here. Um, regardless, what is going to happen in today's video is, like I said, something that one of you guys have suggested. And because I keep receiving loads of different gifts, and obviously I've sent out a lot of them, uh, but because I keep receiving loads of different gifts, somebody said that I should try and do a build on the car that I will end up receiving from this gift. I think I've done this maybe once in the past. I can't remember 100%, but I think I might have. So, whatever gift I get here, I have to build it into something. I kind of want to build it into a drift car, just to see. Maybe even try to use like the 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 wheel spins to try and get like a budget or something, or maybe I should just try max it out. Let's just see. Let's see what I get from this gift, and I'm gonna try to build it into something very very good. Oh my god, it's a box! <laughs> wow, that's generous. Well, just the spirit of Horizon, isn't it? What am I getting? Thank you. Please, please be something fun. I got Salika. Wait, I actually got a Salika the other day. I don't know if it was like yesterday or the day before or something. I ended up actually getting one of these, except it was the older one. Anyway, sick. Uh, this should be an interesting one. I'll give you a bit bit of a thank you there. Um, right. Well, interesting. I don't know if I've... Have I driven this car in this game yet? Obviously, I have one already because I have one of every single car in the game that has been released. But does that mean... Have I driven one of these before? I've taken it out by the looks of things, but I've or I've changed to it at least, but I've never driven it. Okay, this should be an interesting build. Uh, should I keep it like a like a rally spec version of the the car? That's a really raspy. That's a very raspy exhaust. Obviously, a rally legend, by the way. Uh, very mixed feelings on this car. I've seen like a lot of people hating the design of it and some people liking it. I actually really like it. I think it looks great. It's such a... It's the perfect idea of like if you try to think of like a 90s rally car, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I, I think I still prefer the one that had the pop-up headlights to be honest with you, but it still looks brilliant and a billion times nicer than the one that replaced it. Um, right. Well, I need to go <laughs> I need to go and build this thing. I need to start adding parts to it and stuff like that. So let's uh, let's see what exactly am I gonna do to this car? I kind of want to max it out um, without engine swapping it or anything like that. I think I kind of want to max it out just to see what this thing is actually capable of. All, obviously, as standard, it's all-wheel drive. I might just keep it as an all-wheel drive again. Like I said, I kind of want to keep. Wait, what? How's it go to B class? If I change this thing to rear-wheel drive, it actually drops quite a bit of weight. That's probably why. That still makes no sense to me. It has less grip. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, do we have? St Ooh, we do have visual things. Oh my god, we can. <laughs> we can change it. So we bring it back to the stock Salika instead of the S S E two O five. Can't even breathe. <coughs> I'm choking. Instead of having the G D four S D two O five, we can get rid of it and turn it back into stock. Or we can go full rice mode, which I'm kind of tempted to. I am very, very tempted to go full rice mode with this thing. Just because I feel like this is definitely something that the people back in the like early 2000s and the 90s would end up doing to these cars. So like I said, a little bit tempted to go full rice. See, the wing, I'm going to keep standing it. Because the wing is the one thing that always remained on this car, if I remember correctly. It actually has a big fat exhaust on it as well. That's great. I'm actually so happy that it has a big, big ass exhaust on it. I'm putting that one on. Side skirts. Oh my god. it's It just is so... <laughs> it's so, like, aftermarket. <laughs> it looks... It looks so riced out. 
with the virus kit everywhere in it. All right. Um, if I'm gonna go slide this thing, uh, we'll see. Actually, probably snow tires is still the best. The best setup for this thing is probably snow tires. Oh man, should I just go full rice mode with it? I kind of want to. I really, really want to. I, I, I'm doing it. Why not? Okay. Let's say let me actually find a set of wheels for this thing. Again, if I go full rice mode, I have to find something that only people from the uh, early 2000s would slap on this thing. And I've definitely come to the right place here. Something heavy, heavy chrome, multi-piece, just disgusting wheels. I'm really, really, te like, I need to put something like that on, on this thing. Some dubs? Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. I'm definitely not putting HREs on it. HREs are way too... See, something like this. The Luxani wheels. Oh my god. Oh, these are perfect. I'll put these on. <laughs> Even the wheel size, you have to go with full... Oh my god, that is disgusting looking. <laughs> what have I done to this poor car? What's happening? Oh my god. I'm still gonna make a handle well, but oh my god, that is awful looking. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm doing to this poor car. We'll do 245s around it. <laughs> it's so clapped. <laughs> Alright, let's just buy, respec everything now. Oh my god, this menu is so slow after the RTX update. Uh, off road diff, because it locks the diff fully. Surely it has drift suspension, right? Surely. Okay, it does have drift suspension. Oh, it's so weird looking. Those wheels are way too big. What size are they? Are they 20s? I can't remember. I wasn't paying attention when I put them on. I just sort of picked the biggest ones and that was it. So yeah, like I said, I want to keep this engine in that's in it now. Okay, the exhaust changes completely. Yeah, the exhaust changes completely. Uh, once I, uh, once I change the exhaust. Okay. But like, I mean, just the sound itself it changes a lot. Some cars it doesn't actually change that much, but for this it changed a lot. All right, what are we looking at stat-wise? 659 horsepower. Uh, it weighs 1.1 tons. That's actually not bad at all, power to weight. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> I feel like I need to paint it in some disgusting, like, chrome color. Something dumb. Something that I know people... People in the early 2000s would paint this thing. Um, and it has to be something really, really shiny and perfect. Like, a green like this is just absolutely perfect. This, this is definitely something that they would do. Oh my god. Uh, okay, go on then. Uh, this, I'm gonna change paint group 2. Wait, what's, what's paint group 2 then? Oh, there, there we go. And I'm gonna keep that black. Wheels, keeping them chrome, everything else, I'm gonna leave alone. Okay. God, that is awful. <laughs> I don't care. I really don't care. Oh my god. All right, let's uh, let's slide this thing. I haven't actually spent that much money on this, did I? It was like it wasn't too bad. All right, I'm gonna stretch my gears out just a little bit because I feel like I'll need it. Get rid of a bit of camera in the rear, tiny bit of toe on the front, and tiny on the rear. Uh, this obviously I'm gonna change this so it's not 50-50. Make it so it's mostly rear bias. I'll do like 90-10 split. Let's see what that's like. Uh, dampers, I may need to soften the front dampers. I will see. We'll see the way it drives, and then I'll probably change it if I really need to. But, very basic setup there. Okay. <laughs> the gears are too long. The gears are too long. Let's do that. Okay, it's a little better. Oh, it's so weird. It's such a weird car, man. <laughs> Why did I build it like this as well? Alright, let's try it out. 
Let's see. When was the last time that I've done a, like a proper drift build? I feel like they come very, very rarely now. Because I used to do so many drift builds in my videos. And nowadays I'm just sort of like spending my time, you know, trying to go to people's builds and stuff like that and doing all sorts of different things, but I don't really go around doing drift builds on the channel anymore. This is like such an old school style build where I just sort of build something for drifting and take it out and test it. I honestly think this this could probably be a better car as a rear-wheel drive. Uh, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Like, you're seeing me right now just sort of... Very easily throwing this about. It's not actually that bad. But I think I probably would enjoy this more if it was rear-wheel drive. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. <laughs> One thing I do want to change on it, though. Uh... It's this. I'll change that to same steering. I'm gonna soften the front end also. Quite a bit. Both the stiffness of the dampers and the springs as well. Because I can get the back to oversteer a little bit easier like that. Okay, and it definitely changes directions much quicker this time around. It feels a little slow. I feel like this thing could use a lot more power. Maybe I gave it two wide tires? But they're only 245s. I didn't go like something stupid, stupid wide. Also, grip-wise with these... These snow tires, this should be good, but... Yeah, I'm gonna bring my, uh, my PSI up as well for my tires this all the way to the very end. I keep forgetting that I can just use my mouse. <laughs> it saves me so much time if I could just use the mouse. But I just keep forgetting. As soon as I put my hands on this controller, I just keep thinking, you know, like, that's it. It's either use one or the other. But nah. I could literally just use both. Oh my. Oh my god. Okay, it's a lot more slippery. Woo! It goes wide. Yeah, it's it's better. It's better. This is much more like it. This is what I was expecting. When I initially brought this car out. Look, even in fourth now, I'm sliding pretty easily. It was a bit of a struggle before when I was in fourth. Also, don't worry about me going off-road. Alright, just ignore that part. <laughs> I do like it. It's it's fun. It's just not... I just feel like it's not powerful enough for this track to pull the type of slides that I want to, you know what I mean? Oh my god. <laughs> this thing is a mess. And I'm not talking about his looks. <laughs> it's just a joke the way it drives, man. Jesus. Oh, it's it's holding it. It's holding the angle. Come on, come on, keep going sideways. I love this feature. It's so sick. That like the head movement feature. It's so good. Whoa, way too fast. Way too fast for that corner. Fully off. 
It's such like an old school type build as well. Like just me taking the car out and just sliding it. Just here's is a the drift build. Have fun on the mountain. It's been a while. Especially since I haven't played like this game that much over the last season. Like hopping back on and just doing this. It's actually kinda of fun, I'm not gonna lie to you. It is quite fun. If you don't play a game like this for a while and you come back and you play it, even though it's not like the most fantastic game in the world and the best Forza that was ever released, it is actually still very, very fun to hop back on and play this game. That's why even yesterday's video when I uploaded or I played the, the Eliminator, it was actually very, very fun to play. And I even played it on stream. I had like one, one last stream before the end of the year. And it was actually very, very fun to, to just play this game. I didn't even get a million points. I've been, I, I was messing around way too much that entire run to try and even go for, for points. That is some serious angle. I really like the blow off in this thing. It sounds... It's like so discreet, but it's so like genuine, if that makes sense. I don't know if that, if that makes any sense, but it sounds... It sounds so realistic. That's a tree. Yeah, it sounds so realistic. Because there are some blow off valves in this game where just they just sound like they added that sound on afterwards. You know, after they built all the cars and stuff. And they have like this generic sound. This doesn't sound like it's a generic blow off valve sound. Can I hear it from the front? No, not really. It's just from the inside. Yeah, it sounds sick. That sounds very, very cool. Well, here's my rice out. Toyota Celica. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. This was a gift. Uh, you know what's the best thing to do now with this car? Is to pass it on, I think. So let me go over. What's the closest one? Should I just go to the same one? We'll go to the same one. It's, I have to pass it on to someone else. So if you get this thing and somehow you're seeing this video, um, you, you now know the history of this thing. I've... I've gotten this thing, I built it, randomly for drifting, and now I'm just gonna give it away. To one of you guys. Obviously this will progress the, the whole gifting thing. Wait, I need to change something else, don't I? Shit. One sec. Alright, hop all the way to Toyota. There it is. I'm gonna give it to anyone. And I'm gonna do hope this car gives. <laughs> Wait, no, surprise! Take a good, care, take good care of this car. This is the one. And uh, my gamer tag. So if you get this thing, tweet me or whatever, at me on Twitter or or go in the comments or whatever, and, and show me that you actually received this car from me. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching today's video, everyone. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.